Hey guys, I'm Andrews, and today I'm going to teach you how to create this effect. But first, you may have noticed that I have a new splash screen slash logo thing at the beginning of the movie. Well, I just spent the last four days painfully setting up my website and creating a blog. Oh man, that took forever. But now that it's done, I have a new website. It's avengerproductions.net. Avengerproductions.net. Is it stuck in your head now? AvengerProductions.net Alright, let's get started. Create a new composition and drag your footage into your comp. Okay, so now I have my footage. I'm just walking in the forest and I turn around and I pretend to throw a knife. Alright, so for this, you will need your footage and a picture of a knife. Here's my knife. Let's hit S on your keyboard to scale it down a little. Set it to 7. Or 6. That works too. Now we want to find the part where we turn around and throw the knife. I'd say right about here. So, take your knife footage and hit R for rotation. Set a keyframe and rotate it so it kind of lines up with your hands. And just move it into position. Now, go forward one frame by hitting page down on your keyboard. Now go down here, twirl it down, and now set keyframes for position and scale. Now just rotate it and bring it up. Hit page down again. and do that again and don't worry we only need to do this for the first three or four frames the rest will be pretty easy so by now the knife should have left his hand now is the easy part because you can control the knife without having to follow his hand Okay, so on your rotation, go to the very end of the composition and set a keyframe. Now, over here where it says zero times, set it to seven or any number that suits you. Now you'll see the knife, it will be rotating for the entire length of the composition. Okay, that's what we want. That's good. Now we have to kind of make it so it gets into the center of the screen and it enlarges. 
so over here about two or three seconds forward in time we'll move the knife to the very center of the screen as exact as you can be and we'll just scale it up I think that's good so if you can watch this again the knife it will come and then it will just fly out now if you look over here the knife is in the composition before I start throwing it and we don't want that so let's just move it right here where the knife thing starts and just trim it just drag this part so it fits onto the red line I'll just move this back into place a bit. So yeah, it kind of leaves my hand and just starts enlarging and spinning. So I bet you're saying, well that doesn't look too real. Well now we have to animate the background to increase along with the knife so we get the illusion the knife is actually moving. Alright, for this, go to layer, new, no object. You don't really have to do this because you can just move the footage itself, but I like working with no objects. Because if you mess up, all you have to do is delete it, and all your original keyframes are saved. Okay. So, over here, where it says footage, on the parent pick whip, click it, and drag it to the null object. Now it is parented to the null, so it will follow the null wherever it moves. Alright, now we have to start keyframing the null, so it follows a knife set keyframes for position and scale. We won't do any rotating here, so it's not necessary. Now find the point where you want it to start enlarging. I think right about here is good. So increase your scale a bit and go forward in time about here and increase your scale some more so kind of look like it's zooming in Alright, so that looks pretty good. And now we have to animate the background to move. So it looks like the knife is moving off the screen. So right about here, we want it to start moving. Alright, move this to the very end of the composition. Now with the position, drag it until you can see the end of your footage right here and just move it back in place like that so now it looks like the knife is moving along your footage let's give it a RAM preview Okay, so I look pretty good. 